him. I'm the only one that can handle him. I gave you power over him. Uh, the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time. We got folks lying around here, folks telling preachers, they just saying anything. Exodus. We're going to go to 6, and I'm through for the day. I ain't through with the message, but through for the day. Exodus 6, let's start at the first verse. You can give me to the 8, we're through for the day. Look what it says now. Then the Lord, that's Yahweh, your dad, said unto Moses, Now shall thou see. See, we too many times we don't wait and to see what God said he will do. We start scratching and clawing. I don't know what just out my stuff. But God said, hey, be cool for a minute. Yes. The Lord said unto Moses, now, whatever you up against, now shall thou see what I will do to the Pharaohs of the world. Huh? That's the world out there. For with a strong hand shall he let them go. And that's a, how do we know it? We read it and we know it's in history. With a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. Wait a minute. But it, that's just now. The earth belongs to God, children. You are his heirs. God living like it. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham and Isaac and under Jacob by the name of God Almighty. Here's where you get a true understanding of the many, many officers that your God serves. God Almighty. But now, we know that because we're the big three generation. His name not Jehovah. It's Yahweh. Put that J, put a Y there, take them vowels out and put it together. It's Y-H-V-A. No problem. Uh, God Almighty, but by the name Yahweh, was I not known to them? Did you understand? He's given you his sacred name. He didn't even give that to his patriarch. That's no charge, y'all. I don't think they heard what the Lord he said. They didn't know that name. You do. That's why when you see me, I know him in the name of Yahweh. Yahweh Savior and, and, and Yeshua Messiah and all. But it's all about that sacred name that he's given you authority. And I have also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard their groan. Quit thinking that God don't do this. What did you say? And I've heard the groanings of the children. We're children of life. You going to tell me if somebody messing with me to the point that I'm groaning on the inside and the spirit, you know what y'all said, don't, he, he hears my groaning. We may not know what to pray for, but he does. Y'all you know, don't know what the Lord is saying. He just gets to, and all of a sudden, he conveys that to God. You, they got to get out of the way now. Help me somebody. Eh? Woo! Yeah, Lord. Groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians kept in bondage. Wait a minute. You mean you're in bondage to something? And you get the groaning as a child of life? And you're going to tell me God ain't going to come and see about you? I'm sorry, baby. Yes, he will. Help me somebody. I know that for myself. I ain't telling you. I, I told y'all when I was in the hospital, they forced me to take medicine that they was wondering what that boy going to be addicted when he came out. I said, I don't want no more. They looked at me, how you going to, you say, in the morning I went back down, you mean you didn't puke? No. You didn't have no excuse? I know, no doubt, no. You didn't have no, because I said I never received it in the first place. Y'all want to force that medicine on me. See, God can, what are you doing? You are possessing your own vessel. If God tell you, I ain't going to never tell you what to take. I ain't my God. But if God tell you to stop something, stop it. You can't make me eat no fried chicken. I don't care how good it is. He said, don't eat it no more. It's very simple. When you do, because he knows the beginning from the end. 
Let me get. And see, when you get, if you got a problem, see, if you stay with Egypt, they'll keep you in bondage. And I have remembered my covenant. God will never, ever forget his word. Matter of fact, in Isaiah, he said, you remind me of what I say. Now, God, how many times I now, Lord, you said, if they will call on, you heard me when I, on the elders of the church, we, we anoint them with all prayer, and you would raise them up. I'm through with it then. Because I'll call him in to make him remember what he said. That's it. Woo, glory. I'm about to go. Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, Yah Israel, I am the Lord. Now listen, now, here's one of them good I will. Whatever you mean. Did it say the church going to do it? I know some folks have healing cells, have folks rolling on the floor. No, they can pray all they want to. If you don't come in agreement and realize what God will do, you'll stay right where you are. And I will what? Bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians or under the burden of sin. Egyptians represent sin in the etymology of the Bible. So what? that's why it's over there in Newton. Cast what? All of your what? Burdens what? Upon the Lord. Why? Because I tell you. How does matter? And yet we're sitting holding. Listen now, and I, I notice no, wait a minute, you want them good I will do. Didn't say the church would do, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm power and with great judgment. I'm going to pay them for messing with my child. I'm going to bring you out. Whatever the years have stolen from you, I will restore. Has anybody read the Bible? The year that the locusts have eaten. Woo. And I will take you to me. I can't do that, John. And I will take you to me. Why? For people. And I will be to you a God. Have mercy. And you shall know that I am. And be no doubt the Lord. Which bring us out from under the burden of the Egyptians. Or the burden of sin. It doesn't matter what it is. And I will bring you into the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. And I will give it you why? For and Why do you think they call it the Old Testament and the New Testament? That's your will. That's your head. And yet, hey, you don't read it so you don't know what you got. Baby, it's time out to plan church. These are our wills. Whatever you're up under, whatever you're fighting with, God. Isaiah 42, I think. Four or five, that was good. Would you do that? We have to remind ourselves who God is and what he will do. See, I might, might fail you. He preaches my fail you, but he shall never fail you. And until you understand, don't put no, well, I'm sorry. We're just messing. 